Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading. Today is a really sunny day in my country. That is why I decided to show you another sunny seed beads tutorial. First I show you a tutorial for earrings, then I show you for a bracelet. And in this video I want to show you this beautiful ring. And in this way you could make a great match and a great set for present or for yourself. That is why it's a good idea to subscribe and hit that bell button so in this way you will be notified when I release new videos and you could make matching sets. So now if you want to support me you could also like, share and comment. And what I promise is that I will answer to all of your questions in the comments. And in this tutorial I will show you really easy step by step what I'm doing so I'm sure you will be able to make it. If you want, you could share the beautiful bead, uh, beaded creations you make following my tutorials on my Facebook page. Also check my new merch store where you could find pillows, hoodies, mugs, phone covers, t-shirts and so many other stuff. And the designs are made especially from me for you. They help you express your personality better and they are a great present for your beading friends or for yourself. And when you buy stuff from there, you support me, my channel and my mission. And now guys, I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm going to use for this video are four colors of 11-0 seed beads and just one 8-0 bead. And here I'm using monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. And I'm using scissors, size 10 beading needle and I use pliers to squeeze my monofilament to go through my size 10 beading needle. But if you use regular beading thread, you won't need the pliers because they are made flat and easily go through this size 10 beading needle. And now I'm going to put about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, now I have half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'm going to take eight green beads. Okay, and I have my eight here on my needle. And what I do is that I'm going to slide them down, leaving a small tail. I will stick my needle in my mat and here I'm going to make a knot. And I'm making a knot by going once and going second time here and pulling. Now this is what I have and then I will go through two beads in this direction, okay, like that and I'm going to take one yellow bead and this is the 8 hole. and uh, what I'm going to do is go through the opposite bead and how I find the opposite I'm exiting out of this one and I'm counting 1, 2, 3 and going through the fourth bead here and I'm going in the same direction where my thread is pointing to okay when I pull I have this Okay, I'm pulling tight. Okay. Now, what I want to take is one orange bead. And as I'm exiting of this green one, I'm going back in circle through this green again. Then what I want to do is go through the following green. Take just one green, one uh, orange, go back through the green like I did before. And you see what I have here? I have something like a loop between my two beads. Going through the following, taking one orange and going back through this green. Go through the following, one orange. Now if you can, go through the following, green as well. And now I'm exiting here. And I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay. 
OK, and I just added the last bead from this row. I'm pulling tight both my tail thread and my main thread. OK, now this is what I had. I added one bead everywhere between these green beads. OK, so now what I want to do is go step up in my next row. And as I was exiting from this green, I went through the orange. Now I will take one orange bead, go through the following orange, take one orange, go here, and do this until the end of this row. And here, guys, is the last orange that I'm adding. Now, in my next row, what I'm going to do is add red beads. But I'm going to add them two by two. So I'm taking two red beads. And as I'm exiting from this orange here, I will go back through two beads this time. Making something like square stitch okay you see I have a loop between those two reds and those two orange bits okay then I'm going through the following two and I repeat the same thing two red beads okay pulling the following two like that and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row Okay guys, and here I'm adding my last two beads from this row. And what I want to do next is go through these two red beads, like that. And I'm going to take just one green bead. And I will go through the following two beads. Then I will take two more red beads. And I will go back like this, making a loop between those two and two beads. Then I will take just one green. I will go back here through these two red beads. And I will take two green beads, uh, two red beads, sorry. Go back in circle through these beads. And add just one green. Then two more red beads. Go back. And add one green. reds go back and one green bead
Now I'm going to continue this off camera and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Hey guys, and now I'm here where I'm adding my last green bead. And what I want to do is take two more red beads and finish this row. Okay. Then what I want to do is step up in my next row here through these two green beads. Uh, red bead, sorry. And I'm going to take a yellow, an orange, and a yellow again. Here is what I have. And I'm going through these two reds. And again, yellow, orange, yellow. Go through these two. And again, yellow, orange, yellow, go through the following. And I'm going to finish this until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Hey okay, guys, and here I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And what I want to do next is take three yellow beads. And as I'm exiting from this yellow, go through the following yellow, through these two reds and through the yellow that's coming up. Okay. Then I'm going to take three more yellow beads, go through this yellow, through the following yellow, through these two reds and through the next yellow. Pull three yellows, go here through this yellow and exit out of the next yellow. Okay, and I'm going to continue doing this, and when I'm ready, I will show you how to finish your element. Okay, guys, and I finished this element by adding my last three beads and here what I want to do is make a knot. I prefer to make a knot here and finish my element and I'm making a loop going twice through the loop I've made and pulling. Then I might want to repeat this step several more times. When I'm ready I will cut my thread. I prefer to do this first my element and then to make the ring band. I think um, in this way it will be better. Okay, and I will take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I have an arm span of thread on my needle and I'm going to start my ring band. And in order to start it, first I want to attach my new thread here. Okay, I'm putting it here and I'm holding my tail thread. And then what I want to do to attach it is make a loop and go once, then go second time through the loop I've made, making this way surgeon's knot and pull. Then what I want to do is go in my next row here in this orange row. Okay. And now what I want to do is take two green beads and I will take one orange and then two green beads. I have five beads in total. Then I'm going to skip three beads and go through the fourth one like that. <clears throat> In this way I will make the basis for my ring band. Okay, now you see what I have here. And I'm going to take two green beads, one orange and then again two. Okay, this is what I have. I will skip three beads, one, two, three, and go through the fourth one. Now you see what I have here. 
then again. Skip one, two, three, go through the fourth. Sometimes I use my pliers, okay. Then again, okay. Now, when I skip three. I go through the last one here. Okay. Then I'm going through these three beads here, exiting out of the orange, like that. And I'm going to connect all of those beads. I need three orange beads. And I'm going through the following orange. Then I need three more orange beads. Go through this orange here in the middle. Three more. And I'm adding my last three. And now you see what I have here. And you could go reinforcing this part if you want. Now I'm exiting here. You see where? Here I have three orange beads that connects these two points. And here will be where I will start my ring band, you see. Now, in order to start it, I will use these three beads as my basis, okay? I will take one green bead and I will go back in circle through this orange one, okay? And I'm pulling. Then I will here you see what I have. I have a loop between those two beads. And I'm pulling. And now I will go through this green one here. Like that. I will take one green and I will go back here through this middle orange bead then what I want to do is go back through this green again okay then I, may, I will take one more orange and go through the last orange like that then again through the green then I will go all through all of those orange beads one more time and through all of those green beads again one more time now I want to start an orange row I'm taking one orange bead going back in circle through this green one then again going through this orange taking just one orange going back through this green and back through the orange then take one orange then through the green and again through the orange and then again one green and continue like this 
um, and uh, make a ring band long enough to wrap it around your finger. If you forgot how I did these two rows, just rewind this video and repeat this one and this one and make it long uh, uh, to, to wrap it around your finger and then um, I will do this off camera and then I'll be back to show you how to attach it to the other part of your work. Guys, now I have a ring band that is long, long enough to wrap it around my finger and I'm going to attach it to the other, to the opposite part of my, um, the basis of my ring band, okay? And I want to finish with a green row and here I will attach it to this orange row. Okay, and I will attach it the same way as I'm exiting from this green bead. I'm going through this orange one like that and back through the green. Okay, now I have a loop between those two beads, you see, like I did before. When I pull, they are connected. Then I'm going through these two beads exiting out of my middle orange bead. And now you see what I have. Then what I want to do is go through this green here, pull. Now my second orange and my second green are connected with a loop between them. Then I'm going to connect this orange and the last green bead. Then I want to exit out of this orange again. And I will go here and make some knots. Okay. And I'm making my knot the same way I showed you before. Making a loop and going once, going second time through the loop I've made. Then I might want to repeat this knot several more times. And when I'm finished with the knots, I'm always going through the following bead and then cutting my thread. Or burn it with a zipper, okay? And now, guys, my ring is ready. Okay, guys, and now my bead and ring is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and if you still haven't, then hit that bell button to be notified when I release new videos. And in this way, you could make beautiful sets matching your rings, bracelets and earrings and you could also make necklaces and um, um, you really help me when you like share and comment and um, I'm really grateful when you do this and I promise I'll answer to all of your questions in the comments and if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video I will be so happy to see your creations and you could also check my new merch store where you could find t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, phone covers and um, so many other stuff and the designs are made especially from me for you. You could find links down there in description and here at the eye icon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.